Okay. Okay, so here are three dynamic stretches for beta practice. And these stretches are imitating kind of the large ranges of motion you'll be doing with your arms um, as you practice beta style. Okay, so the first one, um, you're lunging forward and raising your arms. Coming back. Okay. And one thing to just be careful about here, since it's a fluid motion, is just to be careful to make sure that your abdomen is activated instead of just totally arching at the back. So I'll show it from the side view here. Okay. And that's just getting you ready for the large um, ranges of arm motion that that the requires. The next one is also involving a lunge. You're going to be lunging forward and then bending to the side like you're reaching over to the other corner. This way. And in this one, you should feel a really big stretch in the front of that hip and also to the side of the body. Okay, and from the side, One more. Okay. The next stretch I'm going to teach you, um, a dynamic stretch, you're going to use a wall to just kind of help you to get that arm motion, the extension and the range of motion. So against the wall, you'll just be here and bringing down. And you should really feel that stretch all through this portion of your body and it will loosen up your arm and shoulder muscles before you play betta. Okay, the next set of stretches is for after you practice. Um, they are called static stretches because instead of doing a, a fluid motion, you're holding the pose. So the first one is stretching the back of your shoulder. Um, you're just drawing your elbow across your chest and holding it there, and you should feel a stretch along this portion of your shoulder. When you do these stretches, um, it's best to hold it for at least 15 to 20 seconds to allow the muscle to relax in this pose. So you can do both sides. Um, a tricep stretch, which is this muscle back here, bringing the arm above you, bending the elbow, and then pulling back here. And the last stretch um, for static stretching <clears throat> is stretching a very large broad muscle that goes all the way down your back. And an easy way to stretch that is if you're against the wall, allow your hip to drop towards the wall and then just bring your arm like you're painting the ceiling above you. And you should feel a big stretch along this side of your body. Okay, so those are the three dynamic stretches and three static stretches for playing betta style.